This recipe is kind of two for one. Everybody in my house loves stuffing. So this is a way for them to get stuffing before dinner and then stuffing with dinner. I make my famous ground pork stuffing that's great for the turkey and then it's also phenomenal wrapped in bacon. Catching the theme here? Lots of bacon today. So what we're gonna do is make the stuffing first and it's actually great because you can do this the night before. You're gonna put your turkey in the oven in the morning then, and this can get done the night before and then actually you can even do the appetizers the night before, get them all ready and then just throw them in the oven in the morning along with the turkey when it, before everybody's about to get here and then they're ready. And like I said, everybody gets double the stuffing. We have our turkey stuffing done and we've made lots. We have enough for the turkey to stuff in the morning and we have enough to make our bacon wrapped turkey stuffing, which is amazing. So we've uh, taken a package of Beretta bacon and what I've done is cut the package in um, the bacon in half so that I'm not using full long strips. Uh, you've let your turkey stuffing cool so that you don't burn your hands, key here. Take a spoon and take about enough to make a small meatball. And you're literally going to make a small meatball. So we're making a little meatball like this with our stuffing. And we're gonna wrap it in the bacon like so. And again, make sure you have soaked your wooden toothpicks. Don't use plastic, it has to be wood. Soak them so that we don't catch fire. And we're gonna slowly make our bacon wrap turkey stuffing appetizers. depending on how many you have coming for dinner. Make sure you have enough so everybody gets to taste and voila. So we have our bacon wrapped turkey stuffing all completed, so exciting. And what I've done today is I actually had made some homemade cranberry sauce and because it's stuffing, I thought what a better way to serve it with some of that as well. So I've put it, it's very simple. Again, white is always the best, your best go-to when you're serving any sort of hors d'oeuvres. And these are still just a little bit hot, so I'm just going to plate them up over here. And again, I have some thyme on my plate because it's, you know, green and it adds some color. These are a little bit hot, but not too bad. And they stay together beautifully. And you can put out as many as you wish and maybe save some and then you can refresh your plate after. And there you go. I think I need to try one today. So I, because I love cranberry sauce, am going to put some cranberry sauce on top. I'm probably going to make a mess, but it's a little bit. So, bon appetito. Let's see. Mm, it's so good.